All right, one of the nice features about the version 5 console are the templates. Now, traditionally, within version 4, the older Mio consoles, you kind of had to build your own mix the way you wanted it to. And you had to build your own box, basically. So right now, when we start the Mio console, you're looking at a blank box. You got no mixer strips here. You got the old analog I.O. control. We wanted to provide you with templates to get you started for basically any situation you might encounter yourself in. And of course, the beauty is once you start from a template, if you want to go ahead and add on and actually save those configurations and recall them later, you can do that. So here's how we're going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to the File menu and open Templates, a new menu item. I've also got a key command of Shift-Command-O. Now, we've got some pre-built templates here for either the 2882 users or your ULN2 users, including ULN2 plus DSP. So I'm on a ULN2 right now, and I'm going to go through some of the basic structures that we have here. Of course, the empty structure is what I'm looking at here. It's just a no-configured mixer. We have a basic setup, um, effects loops, vintage reverbs, and vocal channels. Now, when you call up any particular template in this window here, the structure is as follows. You've got your templates on the left side. On the right side, it's actually a window describing the feature of this particular mixer. And you can actually can scroll through and take a read about what's going on. Now, a cool feature, actually, is this new button here called Open Safari, which I press it opens the document in Safari, I can now print, or even use the key commands, Command Plus, to make the window a little bit bigger. And go ahead and look at this particular ULN2 basic setup. It's a tracking mix with a stereo monitor controller. Um, and if we come back actually into the template window here, if we decide to call this window up, let's go ahead and go to Open. It automatically configures my mixer for me. It does a couple of cool things for me. First, it goes ahead and automatically routes the direct outs of each of my channels here to Firewire. And what that does is that routes them to the record panel. If you're interested in more information on the record panel, go to the record panel overview movie that you'll also find on the website. This is one template. Let's look at another uh, template. Again, Command Shift though, or go from the file menu item. Let's try something like a, a ULN2 vintage reverb. So this one ent opens up a, uh, a nice halo verb for the first time. You got halo verb in here. You can go ahead and get our first 2D reverb. We have a main strip here with MIO strip, MIO strip, and the reverb bus. And we can go ahead and send uh, signals to and from the bus. We have selected a post fader here. Now, the cool thing about the templates is that even though we're supplying you with a couple of ones for the ULN2 and a couple of ones for the 2882, you actually can open them on either device. There's a couple of caveats here. Um, and it's kind of important to understand that some of the channel routing from box to box is not identical. Like, for example, the headphones in the ULN2 is not in the same spot as the 2882. And when we open these configurations, they don't always map perfectly. That's okay. You can still open the majority of these box, actually, you can open all of them on either box. And if something doesn't really kind of map correctly, you actually can go ahead and reroute to that box. But just as a starting point, you can get some ideas. I guess the templates are more of ideas for you, ways that you can use the console. Because again, version 5 is very, very new, and things are completely different inside it. Here, Now, another important little feature of the template configurator is on the on application launch pull down, drop that menu. Now, for most people, when you open the Mio console, you're going to want it to open up the last thing that you did. So if you configured a mixer for your tracking session, you open up and you know, after you quit it, when you open your new console, you're going to want to have that one open up. Now, we have some options here. You don't have to do that. You can have it load the last state. Um, we can load the last open document, which is if you went ahead and did a file open on a document. If you'd like to open a specific document, you can have that one called up every single time. You can have reset configuration, which actually goes ahead and resets your mixer to blank. Basically, it's the same analog of opening up the uh, 282 empty or the ULN2 empty. Or you can actually show this template dialog. So if you wanted to go through the setup every single time and choose a new template, you can do it that way. So again, I'll kind of back up and just talk about what the configured template window is going to do. You've got your basic templates for any kind of mixing you're going to want to do. Um, things like adding in reverbs, effects loops, uh, summing buses, uh, a tracking mix with reverb. And we're going to go ahead and went to the trouble of presetting all these different values channel assignments, uh, plug-in and bus structure, some of the more complicated stuff that's, you know, again, very, very new for some of you folks. And that for you is a starting point, so you can learn how to use this. I'm giving you some information on the right side here that you actually can open up in Safari and print out. More information, detail on what channels go where, and the basic use case or use models, usage models for these. 
go ahead and print these out as you need to. Uh, you can keep a library and archive, or again, nothing about Safari, you actually can magnify the window with Control Plus. So if you want to see it a little bit clearer on your screen, uh, the reading and legibility of the text, it's kind of a neat thing. All right, let's go ahead and quit that. Also, we can choose what we want the application to do when it launches. So when your console launches for the first time, do you want to load the last state that was loaded? Do you want to last open the last open document? Do you want to load a specific document each each time? Or do you want to reset the configuration back to zero? So it's very, very flexible for your own working style. Once you've chosen the mix you want, I'm going to go ahead and go to the vocal channel and go to open here. It just reconfigures the mixer for me automatically in three seconds. It's amazing. So again, use a template to starting points. Uh, feel free to build your own mixers and save them your desktop, and you can actually can recall those using the command on, app, on application launch, load a specific document, or you can open the last state. Again, it's very, very flexible. So starting point from Metricalo, and that is your configuration template window.